today we're going to remove the passenger seat on a 2007 Chevy Silverado. Alright, the tools that you're going to be needing is going to be a 916 socket and you're also going to be needing a 7 sixteenths and a 10 millimeter all right let's go ahead and get started we'll start off with the 10 and it's just to simply loosen up the battery terminal i already went ahead and did that for the driver's side but you'll use a 10. all right once you have the negative terminal disconnected we'll go ahead and get started we're going to go ahead and use the flathead now and just pop open this little latches here and here and we have a little plastic retainer piece here all right now we have access okay so this little ring here is stuck in the way so you might need a, a needle nose pliers to get that out all right so using some needle nose we're going to go ahead and just pinch on that retainer and wiggle it up there it is and you can stick it back in here goes right in there so we pulled it out like this so this is gonna go in like that oh boy so much easier when you have two hands and it's not magnetized <laughs> all right let me go ahead and do that with two hands real quick all right there it is nice and clipped on so we're ready to proceed so this one's going to be the 916 There it is, and we'll use some hand tools to loosen this up. All right, now we'll loosen up the other front one. There it is. All right, perfect. I'm gonna just drive them out with the power tools. Okay. Sorry, changing everything single handedly. There it is. Yeah, yeah. No. Gosh. I know I had it right, but it looked like it was going the wrong way. Go ahead and install a swivel you don't need all these extra tools you just need the hand tools I'm just making it easier on myself sweet see how much easier that was <laughs> all right now we're gonna go ahead and go to the back let's go ahead and move the seat forward now we're going to use our 716s let's bring this with us door and we're gonna need the ratchet all right so now same thing with this one just pull back and up retainer clip stayed on that took it off of here same process I mean you don't really have to unless you want your plastic covers flying all over the place. I suggest you put these back, just like so. There it is, that's all it took. All right, so here we are, come here, sit in there. Oh, I'm sorry, this one's 7 sixteenths. And let's just loosen it up. Same thing with this side. Okay. I have to get it from a different angle. There it is. Oh, goodness. Nice and tight. Right, and let's go ahead and just 
drive them out, take off the swivel, install the 716s, and drive it out. Drive it out. Let's disconnect this pigtail. Let's push in and pull out, just like so. The seat belt is on the seat itself. Let's go ahead and remove these screws, actually. Doy. Uh, so you could get access by removing this cover. Remove this screw. Seat belt comes off. But I don't need to do that because the only thing I'm going to take is the center console. Boom. So here comes the seat. Let's go ahead and pull it out might need both hands I've been doing this for a while already kind of know what's up push the seat out of the way and there it is sweet that is how you remove the passenger side seat on a 2007 Chevy Silverado why do you want to do that to remove this console. yeah boy there should be a video how to remove this console too Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.